gonna get it all in there. I am. It's all going in there. Told ya. Yicky. Sup. <laughs> that was really creepy. Sup. <laughs> Just kidding. Did you think I was going to be in there? <laughs> oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Well, hello there and come on in. My name is Brittany and in today's video, we are doing what we can. I've got fresh, clean and washed sheets and a comforter. And the night before was kind of a movie night party that got a little out of hand with the goldfish. So we are getting caught up on things in this bedroom. I also had this load of towels to fold. So we are gonna go ahead and get those taken care of. This is actually from last night's laundry. So we're gonna get these folded up and put away and then we will move on in today's video we are just doing as much as we can with what we have where we are we have a lot going on in life and on this day our water heater was actually broken and later on I won't have any access to water on this day so we are going to be doing all the things that don't involve water Happy Easter to all of my friends who are catching this video on Sunday. I really, really appreciate letting me be a part of your day. And I also hope that you have the most wonderful Easter with your loved ones. And yeah, so how are you all doing out there? I hope that this video finds you well out there in your place in the world. Please let me know down in the comments how you're doing, what you're up to, what you're getting into, and what your plans are for Easter. I'm gonna try to keep this video a little less chatty than usual. And also some super exciting news. I finally bit the bullet and invested in myself and invested in this channel and got some good music to play for you guys. And I am so excited to share all the good music that I found. Please let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy the music today. Now just to tidy up the clutter in this area, we're also going to do a quick vacuum and get those goldfish crumbs off the floor and then we're going to make the bed.
not afraid to say it I know it took some time Just to read it in the press release What I was going through But I got stories too The fear of being last Like everybody knows when you don't Every feeling past Then why am I still stuck with this one? I should see it through Change my point of view I try to catch it when the moment's over I try to fill up though it's pouring over I'm working hard on getting all of the clothing and linens and all of that stuff really good and organized. And so I am just setting aside from the declutter in the last video when I decluttered Wade's dresser. I'm putting those over in a basket to wait for me to put them in something proper to store them away. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do another round of seasonal decluttering and I'm going to get all the heavy sweaters and stuff like that and pull them and get them put away because I am running out of hangers. I'm running out of hangers for me and Michael and then also for the girls. So this really helps me to to get some extra hangers going and we are just gonna get all this a heavier winter clothing stored away I went and pulled the heavier winter clothes from Wade's closet as well as from the girls and so we're just going to add those all together. My original plan for this video was to do a deep clean of the refrigerator as well as the freezer but with the water heater situation I only make it to most of the refrigerator. I still need to do the doors you guys will see later but anyway we are just making do and we are doing what we can that is the motto in life do what you can with what you have where you are whether it comes from the, whether it comes from me whether it comes from the, whether it comes from me Now to add these into my space saving bag here and get them all put away. I'm trying to max out this space saving bag so we are pulling the hats and scarves and gloves from the downstairs sunroom and getting these all taken out and these bins will now be our spring and summer bins and in one we will do the sun hats and stuff like that and the other will have the outside toys for the kids to easily access I'm gonna get it all in there I am it's all going in there I was very determined to get all of this in this space saving bag, but I did have to pull aside a couple pairs of the gloves because I noticed they had like mulch and dog hair on them, so they needed washed. But once they're washed, I can add them into my other storage bag that has all of the holiday clothing in there, so that will be just fine. I won't have to pull out the space saver again.
And now here's what we're left with. Those bathroom rugs on that white bench are waiting for me to mop the upstairs floor before I put them down because I just washed them. And then we have Wade's baby stuff here in this basket and then this is that storage bag i was mentioning and i still need to find a place for that but we got to get to wade's closet i think that's where it's going to end up going and here's the start on my summer bins and we're going to go ahead and dust and wipe off this shelf and stick these bins back up here i need to do a good deep clean in this sunroom but that's going to have to be another day Continuing on with what we can do and tackling this recycling pile here is something I can definitely do. It definitely needs to be done. I tend to let this get behind, but we're going to get it all caught up right now. so much better we are going to go ahead and move on to day two because after this point we were full steam ahead for the water heater so now we have hot water again and we are going to tackle this fridge as far as we can get on this day it is in some definite need of some cleaning decluttering all of the things we got some produce prep to do but first we're going to get her emptied out I'm only emptying it out section by section in order to try and keep the milk in the refrigerator as much as possible and not have things sitting out for so long. And so I feel like that really helps and it also makes it a lot more manageable, especially when you're a mom and you are on call. Before I get to wiping down the fridge, I am going to go ahead and get started with some produce prepping and we need to soak this broccoli. It's going to actually be for dinner tonight, so it'll be good to have it all clean and ready to go. I don't always remember, but when I do, I like to go in with a dry cloth to get a good dry wipe down of all the crumbs and debris before going in with cleaning products. Yicky. <laughs> that was really creepy. So Just getting 
you think I was going to be in there? <laughs> Now I'm just going to put back in everything that I can, especially that milk, for the time being, and we will move on to the next thing. I'm just going to do a quick run through of everything that's left here on the table and make sure that nothing is expired or needs to be tossed out. Got to do some smell tests, all of the things, you know. Headed out to our outside fridge. I am just gonna stock up the inside fridge on some Lunchables. This is our back stock area. We usually have all of our drinks in there, like sodas and sparkling waters, bottled water, stuff like that. And yeah, so we stay stockpiled on Lunchables around here because that is what Natalie has for lunch literally every day. For her school lunches, that is. Our broccoli's done soaking and we are ready to get another produce bath started. So we are just gonna get this all rinsed off and then we are gonna chop off the, the florets. Is that is that how I say it? I'm gonna make this into florets. I'm gonna take the big stem off, all right? That's what I'm gonna do. Questioning myself on the way down. Now I'm so tired of And I'm doing this the most barbaric way possible because, I don't know, I just feel like doing it the easiest way I possibly can at this point. My sweet little helper Wade is coming in now to help me add in the apples. There is quite a dirty little secret hiding underneath of this shelf and I am so glad that I took the time to try to get it out of there. I was pretty nervous about it because guys, I'm good at breaking stuff, okay? Uh, but I noticed all that grime under the glass, see it there? And I was like, oh, this, this, this ain't happening. We gotta get this out of here. So I did end up getting the other clip in the back corner out safely with my knife. But wait till you see what's under here, guys. And I, I want to pretend that it's chocolate syrup. So we're going to go with that because I have no clue what it actually was. I have a feeling it was much more disgusting. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. That's really, really bad. 
So we're gonna go ahead and shut up the doors to try to keep the cold air in as much as possible. And while we're waiting, letting it cool back up, we are gonna go ahead and get this shelf all cleaned up and go through the rest of the stuff that's on the table. And then we are gonna get to scrubbing in here. She came so clean, but this part is so much more work. It's like it was frozen on there, so it made it that much harder to get it off of there. Oh, it was so gross.
Now we just have this bottom drawer section to tend to and it's not so much the drawer but guess what you guys if you know my fridge yep we got ice we got ice this fridge and i've heard it's the it's this model of fridge it just will freeze up thaw out leak water everywhere freeze up thaw out leak water everywhere again and again and again so when i can catch it froze up i will just scrape the ice out uh, luckily so far this whole year the fridge has been doing great at keeping cool because we have had issues with that as well. It's just a lot of fun, y'all. It's so much fun. It's about time for me to pick up the girls from school. So we are gonna save the doors and the compartments in the doors for another day. We are just gonna do a good wipe down on the outside of the fridge because it desperately needed it. And we're also gonna go in with some barkeeper's friend and get this calcium buildup here at the water dispenser off and then moving on. I don't use any special stainless steel cleaner for my appliances. I just go in with my multi-purpose spray or all-purpose, my all-purpose cleaner. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. You don't even really need that. Really, you just need a wet microfiber cloth and a dry one to buff it out when you're done. And if you wouldn't mind. getting a good shot of the progress that we've made so far because i know once the girls come home this fridge is gonna get raided and i was pretty right and also a little reality check of what the kitchen is looking like right now it's kind of a mess but we are making it back from school pickup i am just going to go ahead and tidy up this kitchen as best as i can because we are going to need to make dinner i'm still waiting for the produce to dry i'm letting it dry as much as i possibly can before storing it away we are going to go ahead and get all of these dishes in the dishwasher put away i am definitely off of my dishwasher schedule because I have been running it during the day instead of at night, but we will get back to it. We will get all caught up again.
finally, I'm gonna get all this produce put away and that is gonna wrap up our cleaning of the fridge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep out dinner and tonight we are gonna have foil packs using that broccoli I mentioned, as well as some kielbasa and shredded cheese and literally that is it. It is so super easy and me, McKenna and Michael all absolutely love this one. You just throw them on the grill and give them about seven minutes on each side and then voila, dinner, super easy. And of course, this is a recipe that I got off Pinterest, so I will link it below for you. We have dinner all prepped and I'm about to head outside to the grill, but we're just gonna add in our jarred produce and call it a day on this fridge. And I'm gonna head outside to work on some of this editing and get this food cooked up. And we're also gonna take that watermelon out to the chickens. But that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that this motivated you to get done the things that you can do. And I am so thankful for you coming over and hanging out with me today. When I first let the chickens out, I thought they were going to be all over this watermelon, but they wanted to get their fill of the grass first. So they eventually made their way. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you next time. Take care of you. Bye.